Hey there, Sharon Hornells from here. Welcome to day 189 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Of course, we're finishing up the soap progress today. Progress soap process today, which is all about progress. How do you know if you are moving toward what it is that you want with respect with respect to your relationship goal? Remember at the beginning, the ask the story, the situation. We talked about what's our current story, what's our current situation, what do we want it to be. That creates this gap that the O, the A, and the P fill in the framework so that we're not just thinking about what we don't want and focusing on what we do want and then how are we actually going to get there. We take steps and action. We consider options. We take action steps. We take action because nothing happens if we don't move or take some action toward what it is that we want in order to get from where we are to where we want to be. So my relationship goal, my goal is to improve my relationship with myself. And you might have picked a different relationship, but the process is the same for whatever we want, right? To get whatever we want in life. It's a simple three, four, five step process, whatever works best for you. And if you apply it over and over and over again, you're bound to get from where you are to where you want to be. So the P in SOAP process, S-O-A-P, stands for progress. How do you know if you're moving toward what you want or not? Now, usually we come up with different ways to measure this. And in certain areas and aspects of our life with the life framework, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, contribution, confidence, and communication, some of these are easy to measure, right? Some of them are really objective and super easy to measure. I think physical things are pretty easy to measure. I think financial things are pretty easy to measure. Contributions pretty easy to measure. But areas like mental, emotional, spiritual, relationships, and even confidence, those are much more subjective things. And just like everything else in the world, they're defined by us. And how we define them is what really matters. Nothing else does. But our our action item today is to say, okay, how am I going to know I'm moving from where I am with respect to this relationship to where I want? And maybe you'll journal and collect pieces of evidence that support that you're moving in the direction that you want. Maybe you will... Uh, have a checklist. I am an avid believer in checklists. I think they're awesome, especially when I want to achieve a goal. I'll, as soon as I set a goal, I'll start saying, okay, what are the steps I need to get there? And then I'll create a checklist and action items that need to be done for each of those steps in the process so that I make sure that I do them. Don't miss things because some things are dependent on the order we do them in. Others aren't. If we're improving our communication, for example, as part of improving a relationship that we're on, that's very, very, very subjective in how you measure that and how do you know. So you might want to collect pieces of evidence that show that you're making progress in that area. That's our action item today, and I'm going to share a couple of things about relationships that we're going to go into in more detail over the next week or so. Uh, and they have to do all about relationships. They're different relationship topics, and we're going to actually rate and measure ourselves on a scale of 1 to 10 for each of these. And say, how are we doing with respect to this? So what are some of those things? Uh, effective communication. How? And we're going to spend an entire month focusing on communication, which means good and positive and effective communication, right? Uh, but we'll cover it for a day here with respect to specifically relationships. And, and you can think about and start thinking about because on the 23rd, we're going to pick what is the most important relationship for you that you want to work on? We're going to apply our seven-step process over the seven days to make sure that you nail that one. And you've got that one so dialed in, you can't help but achieve it. Uh, so effective communication, trust and mutual respect, shared goals and vision. Boy, did I learn how important that was in my, my now defunct marriage. Uh, emotional intimacy, and I would say emotional support and intimacy because... Uh, it, it's not just about intimacy. Uh, I need my magnifying glass. Continuous growth and adaptability. How flexible and adaptable are you? How, are you continually growing, improving, and personally developing yourself? Uh, quality time and shared experiences, super important, right? And then conflict resolution. And then we'll talk about commitment, effort, open-mindedness, and, and the role that that plays in us achieving our relationship goals. Now. The rub with relationship goals, except for the one I'm covering today, is that they involve other people, right? And we can only control our part 
of that relationship. We can only control us ever, right? So even if it's in a super close relationship, like with your kids, your parents, your grandparents, your your cousins, aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends, I always say, uh, you can only control your role in that relationship. You can't control the other person, no matter what, no matter how much we want to, no matter how much we'd like to think for other people or feel for other people or take away some of their drama and trauma, it's impossible. We can only do what we can do for ourselves. So that's the difference in relationship versus other areas. We have only about, we have only control over ourselves. We have hundred percent control over ourselves, but we actually have zero control over other people. Now we know a lot of manipulative, narcissistic, control freak people that try to control other people in other ways by manipulating, lying, cheating, stealing, uh, uh, harassing, etc., bullying. But guess what? That just shows us who they are. It doesn't show us who the person they're bullying is, right? And that's a, that's a whole topic for another day. I'm not going to get into it. Maybe I will do a day on dysfunctional relationships. I, I've got four extra days this month that I, can, I haven't picked the topics for yet. Uh, so what are we doing today? We're looking at the P in the SOAP framework and we're thinking about progress. Are we moving toward the thing that we want, the relationship they want? Am I moving toward a continually improving better relationship with myself or not? That's my question. So we did our action item yesterday. I did do my action item yesterday. I signed up for a course on uh, actually I did effective communication because but now I might find one on dysfunctional relationships so I can do a day on that as well. I like to kill a couple birds with one stone in anything that I choose to do, especially when I am implementing my goals and automating those processes. If I can find a way to make something a habit, I do that. Why? Because then I know I'm automatically going to get results. And if I can find a way to make it a habit in more than one area or aspect of my life, all the better. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, figure out how you're going to measure, how you're going to know that you're making progress. Just Think about that, decide that, and have a way to do that for this very important relationship in this very important area of your life because only you know if you're making progress or not. And guess what? We won't always make progress, will we? Sometimes we'll take two steps forward and three steps back. Sometimes we'll take a step forward and a step forward and a step forward and five steps back. That's just the way life works. All right. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.